Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for €5 Euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material. How do we sum it up? Um, an extraordinary game. Uh, I think we have to take uh, our hats off the boat, sets of players there. Just to go as hard as they did as, for as long as they did, I, I, I think it was a, a, remarkable, a remarkable achievement, guys. But look, I think we now see the new level of athlete and player within the inter-county game. We talk about it, it's getting better every year. And, you know, the physicality, the exchanges, everything, it's just going up and up and up. And I think today was, was further testament to that. We now have, um, you know, we've no lads who have to get up and go to work in the morning, but you can put on a show like that from 90, 95 minutes. It's hats off to him, really, you know. Yeah, but that's the way we play the game. Um, we will accept mistakes, there's no doubt, because in the game we try to play with, there will be there will be mistakes. We, as a management team, are quite willing to accept them once they're happy to play the game they want to play. It's it's their game. It's not our game. Mistakes happen. Um, Tim put it to bed before we got to dress and we came back out. And he had an incredible 20 minutes after that. It, it, the, the mistake, it, it, didn't, it, it didn't trouble him. It didn't trouble our team. So, you know, it, that, that was the important factor. Before, it might have. But, you know, this team is, um, this team is different today. There's more resolve in it. And, you know, we're quite pleased where we've, where we've come. You know, when you talk about that resolve, because to get caught to death is a normal time. A lot of people would be looking at this thing from psychological as a good thing. And maybe that kind of character that has been questioned in Cork in recent times that we came up with today. Yeah. Um you know, and it's not something we we've done. Um the lads have taken taken control of all these little scenarios and all these these little points that are important to win games. Yes, it was a sucker punch, but once we got to the dressing room, the players took control of the scenario, they took control of the situation again. We've asked them to be different over the last 12 to 18 months last year was an interruption obviously we couldn't get to where we wanted to get to last year so we took the winter to prepare to talk about that resolve and our strength and depth and, and bits and pieces so it, it's down look it, it's down to what's what it's down to what's inside the chest it's that heart it's that willingness it's that want um any team who wants to, uh, any person who wants to claim Everest has to go through it and our guys i think we're extremely proud of them absolutely extremely proud of them because Maybe 12 months, 24 months ago, take back to the Tipperary game last year. We we Tipperary in the back foot and we couldn't see it out, you know. So today it was it's very very pleasing from our point of view. You only have a couple of lads who played in our final so. Just we don't need we had nine lads who never played in Crow Park today before we came up, you know. Um, yeah, look, they have no baggage, you know. There's one or two lads that have um, have been unsuccessful here in All Ireland, but. They know their days in their life, they're never going to get back again. So that's that's history. We, we can't change that. Um, you know, that them games against Clare, they can never get them back. It's like today, there was moments in that game, i.e. Timo Manny's one, we'd love to got back again, but we, but we can't change it. Um, so it, it's not it's not going to be an issue for us. We're, we're not going to we're not going to dwell on it. Um, we plan accordingly for the next two weeks and, and see where that'll get us. As a defender yourself, you need to be really powerful, I suppose, the car. Yeah, look, we're I suppose the, the key thing to any defence is that you trust each other. You trust the man behind you, you trust the guys to the left of you, you trust the guys to the right. That's the key to any defence. I mean you've six defenders, two midfielders and two wing forwards who are working to get these guys back into position to, to nullify the goal threat or, or to surround Opposition attackers, it, it's um, that that's just down to work rate. Right? It's it's down to do want and doing the right thing for the team. But as a defence, yes, are we pleased? One hundred percent. Robert um, hadn't been in the team at the start of the year, but he, he has taken his opportunity and he's done really, really well. Um, Sean and Niall, both corners, the, the two guys that have, you know, they've stood up. Um, they've stood up as of all our backs. Like Jer Mellerick there, he's he spent a lot of time out with injuries over the last number of years. Um, to come in and help play as well as he did for us during the championship. Okay, he picked up an in, another injury today, but like even the likes of Jer, Mark Coleman, and Tim have experienced, and we we've shown great great resolve back there. That's a hamstring, hamstring, yeah, hamstring. Do you 
Um, we did, but that's what we'd expect. That's why that's why we ha- that's why we have a bench. We've eleven guys back in Cork. When the, the squad was known as Friday night, their hearts you know their hearts were down in their boots because they firmly believed they had something to offer today. And yes, they one hundred percent would have, but we could only bring twenty six. So the guys who came on and made, made an impact, it's what we'd expect of them. Um, the guys at home, we'd be expecting them to come back in Monday, Tuesday, whenever we go back Tuesday night, start training the seeking they force their way back in and maybe push some of them out because this is a revolving door. Um, you've probably seen our selection, our bench selection over the last number of weeks. We've had guys come in and play minutes and they've moved out of the squad next week. So there's guys continuously putting their hand up on, a, on a, every night we go training and that's what we need, that's what we want. Um, but again, we'd expect when we bring guys on, they, they impact on the game for us. Um, it wasn't the case against Limerick early on in the year when we came in. When they came in, especially in attacking, we were, we were very ragged. We lost our shape, we lost our structure. But I think this this qualifying system has got us um, and given us an opportunity to work on that. Well, if you look at it, Shane has been our top scorer from play to date. You know, okay, he didn't start today, but he started the last three games coming in today. He had been our top scorer from play. So, you know, he um, he obviously felt aggrieved. He didn't get an opportunity. Um, but look, he made an impact. So it's up to us to see what we do the next day. Underdogs. If you're to listen to the television and everything written and said today, lads, Limerick's name is already etched in the cup. So, you know, where where do we go from there? They're the greatest team that that have played the game over the last number of years. So, you know, we'll come up, we'll see how we get on, and we'll throw what we can at them. Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material.